Objective 7 is somewhat of a continuation of Objective 6, where IV flow rates are calculated, but more as part of the question, basically considered a step that is done to find the answer. So with Objective 7, you will use the same conversion steps as in Objective 6, in this first objective, 7 question, number 1, you need to infuse a unit of cryoprecipitate to a patient. The label states this contains 60 milliliters of volume. If this is to be infused by gravity over 15 minutes using 20 drop per milliliter tubing, what is the drop per minute flow rate needed for this? If you have viewed the Objective 6 problems, I mentioned two things I will re-emphasize here. The first is, everything in the toolbox will be anything associated from the question that has a number related to it. Also, when the question is asking for drop per minute flow rate, you must know the milliliter per hour flow rate combined with the magic number from tubing to solve this question. To answer the question of milliliter per hour flow rate first, we must put this into a ratio and proportion problem. In order to do this, our labels must match. So because we are looking for an hour flow rate, we have to base that on the equivalent of an hour in minutes. This shows the proper setup, which is 60 milliliters to infuse over 15 minutes, solving for x milliliters, 60 minutes, or the equivalent of a milliliter an hour. Completion of this shows x is equal to 240, and the label for x is milliliter, but don't forget that this is per hour because we're including the time frame. Once we have the milliliter per hour flow rate, we simply combine this by dividing this by the magic number of 3 based on our 20 drop tubing, which results in 80 drops per minute. Quick verification of the question being asked assures us that we have completed this question. In question 2, a patient is to receive 2 liters of TPN per day. If this is to be infused by IV controller using 10 drops per milliliter tubing, what is the milliliter per hour flow rate? In the toolbox, we have 2 liters per day, which is also equivalent to 2,000 milliliters per 24 hours. 10 drop tubing, which is a magic number of 6, and our question, what is the milliliter per hour flow rate? Completion of this problem shows 2,000 milliliters over 24 hours, solving for x milliliter over 1 hour. x is equal to 83.3 infinity. When dealing with milliliter an hour flow rate or drop per minute rates, these will always be to a whole number. So our answer is x is 83 milliliters per hour. Note the tubing was not used. Be cautious with this because having the information there causes a lot of incorrect answers where students feel compelled to use information that is provided in a question. Simply having the tubing does not mean that it is used. Question number three, what is the drop per minute flow rate to infuse 1,250 milliliters of D5 normal saline over 10 hours with an administration set of 15 drop per milliliter? Our toolbox has 1,250 milliliters, 10 hours, 15 drop tubing, and a question of drop per minute. Remember, whenever the question asks for drop per minute flow rate, you must know the milliliter an hour flow rate in order to convert this. Once you have the milliliter per hour flow rate by showing 1,250 milliliters over 10 hours and solving for x milliliter per hour, x is equal to 125 milliliters per hour. This will then be divided by the magic number of 4 used for the tubing and for the conversion of a milliliter per hour drop rate to a drop per minute flow rate.
The answer is 31.25, but all IV flow rates, whether by gravity or pump, are whole numbers. So the answer is 31 drops per minute. In this last Objective 7 problem, number 4, a patient has an order to infuse an IV of 400 milligrams of medication over 52 minutes by gravity using 10 drop per milliliter tubing. If this medication is in 100 milliliters of normal saline, what is the flow rate? In the toolbox, we have 400 milligrams, 52 minutes of infusion time, 10 drop tubing, 100 milliliters of volume, and the question is asking for an IV flow rate. If we refer back to the question, it asks for this to infuse by gravity, meaning our flow rate will be drops per minute. Knowing my question is drop per minute, I must first establish my milliliter per hour flow rate. When I do that, X is equal to 115 milliliters per hour based on 100 milliliters infusing in 52 minutes. Just a note, if I'm using ratio in proportion to solve my milliliter per hour rate, I have to note that 52 minutes must be the hour equivalent of 60 minutes. Once I have 115 milliliters per hour, I can then divide that by 6, which is my magic number, based on 10 drop tubing for an answer of 19 drops per minute.